the creation of a specialized policing unit in Lexington Park will positively affect crime and the fear of crime by finding solutions for chronic issues and taking more of a holistic approach to these issues and challenges. This accentuates geographic responsibility of our people. This will be a proof of concept for other parts of St. Mary's County, and a perfect example of this is Leonardtown. But I'm wondering how much uh, are we advocating for community to step up? Because I think to address some of these issues that I think we all are concerned about, especially in areas like Lexington Park, uh, I don't know what else you know can happen. I mean, if you had patrol cars, you had sheriffs, but still, that's not going to allow you to be everywhere. Right. All the time, right. you know, to take care of what we need. And I, I don't. I'm wondering if anybody's really looking at some of the things we found out in some other cities that have had these issues for decades. And I think most of the answers came from really getting out there and getting citizen watch groups established and really trying to inspire our community to come out and play their active role in making sure their own communities are thriving, are being protected. Because really, when you're living in a true community, your greatest protection is going to be innate. And I, I know a lot of people that, since things have changed, have just resulted in going in the doors, closing the doors, and hoping what's happening next door doesn't come over to their next door. But we all know if you don't pay attention to the problem next door, eventually it's going to be the past time for us all to stand up and try to think a little more about what's made our community such a great place for so long to live in and why we can't sit back and just turn into a police state. I don't think anybody wants that. Yeah, we don't want to work anymore. But right. honestly, we have a lot of work to do, and one of the areas that we really have a lot of work is challenges is in Lexington Park. It's and there are organizations and there are people that are forging ahead. We're not involved to the extent that we should be. I believe we're only going to be successful in partnership with with the community and with other agencies and other organizations. Um, that that's why my interest is in Lexington Park, and you're exactly right. A police state will not be efficient, it won't work, it, it won't perform. We can only be successful in concert. As you know, we've been working on revitalizing Lexington Park for a long time. We've led that initiative with capital and infrastructure improvements. We've just completed a $7 million reconstruction of Great Mills Road in the Upper End. But bricks and mortar, making it look good and creating inviting places like the new library and the post office, can't do enough if it's not also a wholesome and safe community. So what you're talking about is how we rebuild the spirit and the intent of this community as an inviting business district, as a, as a wonderful neighborhood, as strong, strong areas for families to live and work and play. Lexington Park is the gateway to our major employer for St. Mary's County. <laughs> if we don't focus attention on the challenges that are there, that are coming because of population growth and the urbanization of our area and the social issues that are, are attended to that, then we're, we really are stand to threaten the mission of our major employer. Why would we be so penny foolish in that? So from the Community Development Corporation, the Business Association for Lexington Park, the St. Mary's Square Association, I think we stand ready to really champion your budget message uh, issue. I'd like to think I've got my finger on the pulse of uh, what's going on in Lexington Park. Um, juvenile crime seems to be out of control. There's not enough resources for recreation. Timmy doesn't have enough resources for for covering the street in Lexington Park. Lexington Park has 11,000 people, 30% of the crime. We need a full-time, real-life police station in Lexington Park. There's no place in Lexington Park where you can go and you know that you're going to find a deputy or a state trooper there. There's no place. If you've got a problem, you've got to call Leonard Town and wait a half hour or you got to run around town and hope you can find a deputy somewhere sitting in a parking lot. It just makes no sense to have this big town where the center of population, the center of crime, and there's really no, I don't think there's any real true police presence there. You need a police station, not an outpost, a full-time 24-7 man police station, maybe a couple cells and whatever else. You know, the experts over here. Yeah. Well, you put a, if you put a police station in Lexington Park, and, and that's been broached, uh, and I've had recent discussions with Commissioner Morris about this. Um, if you had a police station in Lexington Park, if you wanted to man it 24 hours a day, we know uh, for staffing you need five people to have one position 24 hours a day. 
that's the reason for the request for five station clerks uh, that Captain Willenborg talked to you about. So um, to put a station there, to have it manned uh, like we have our headquarters manned, um, you know, you would at least need five uh, clerk positions there, not, not, notwithstanding the, the notion of a station and personnel inside, but just the uh, policing component. Uh, really what you would need for, for the Lexington Park area would be a, an entire shift. Um, what I would say the place to start, if we were talking adequate personnel, would be uh, your command control, which would be a lieutenant and uh, three sergeants, and then probably 15 personnel. I say probably, I base that on statistics for that Lexington Park property.